Live fast, die young. On crest we test. Okay, so the better it sounds, the better usually the innovation. Also, these are sponsored. So they aren't even written by the educated journalists from this magazine. So this is just talking about hot taps. Oh man. Where the internet of things meets web through. Hi everyone, I'm back like Arnold. This video is going to be very long and boring. The cameraman is going to edit this down, I hope. I mean, I would edit it, but video editing on Linux, it's possible. It's definitely possible. Just let me put it this way. I would rather read the documentation on how to do conditional queries in DynamoDB or have a rat eat through my body in an Italian mafia coup than edit videos on Linux. But it's possible. It would definitely be possible. Uh, today I have planned to learn the modern internet. Uh, we have to design a fancy UI because apparently terminal applications aren't fashionable anymore. Uh, I need to understand how modern web works and what the difference between UI and UX is. Uh, let's go on to a website of a startup. Apparently, um, I mean, startups have a very high interest to communicate what they're doing to get users. Okay, so we have our cookie banner again. This looks differently designed everywhere. So this is something where designers can really live out their imagination to enhance your user experience. Okay, so it's important for the full experience. Improve your side journey and assist in our marketing efforts. Okay, these seem like some magic beans that do all, all three. Are you cool with cookies? I am cool. Okay, I'm by now I am cool with these cookies. People powered apps on a people powered blockchain network. Okay, I don't know what that means, I'll be honest. Also, this is explaining that we can scroll. Oh, okay, so that, that, that's very accessible. Peak in 90 seconds. They give us a shortcut to really understand. Okay, that's, I like that. Oh, it's a video. Okay, so this is, oh, they're using cookies and data again to improve and deliver personalized ads. I mean, I'm using Tor to not have anything personalized, but just be generic in the internet. I mean, ideally you should use GNU IceCat. But okay, let's for the fun. I mean, except we're here to learn something. Okay, again, I mean, I, what's happening? Now I'm fighting with the cookie banner. Now the whole site is reloading. <laughs> okay, if I accept, it just keeps reloading. Let's reject. No, no, it's working. Great. Great. So, so this is an explainer of what the company is doing. I like it. Your things are not really your things. Every device, vehicle, or machine you use you use on big text terms. Value, information and power is being generated on their watch. That's the status quo, that's Web2. Peak is making sure your things are really your things. We're putting power back into your hands. Peak, Peak is a people-powered people -powered network, network powering, powering a people-powered powered people economy. Powered economy. Where the Internet of Things meets Web3. We're building a better future where you can own, earn and control. Right share on land, air or sea. We're building a future that doesn't just work for the 1%, but for the 100%. 100%. I'm buying this. I, this is, I don't know what they're doing still, but... We enable machines to freely interact with their environments. Okay, freedom to machines. I hope freedom to humans will also follow. Peak is bringing millions of machines to the Polkadot ecosystems as independent actors, along with billions of dollars in associated. Please nobody tell OpenAI about this. Why do we need a Web3 economy of things? Oh, that's not a rhetorical question. Okay, yes. our things are taking our jobs. I don't have a job, nobody's taking mine, so. Why build on peak? Okay, so this seems to be a commonality I discovered in the web. We always put NFTs and profit close to each other. That's like a recipe to success. Okay, I wanna know what this Crest, Crest guy is. What is Crest? Yes, the world's first and only. Okay, so I discovered this. You always say world's first and only. You are always the world's first and only. You can connect your device and earn. Okay, so there's some financial model in here. Oh, there is no other live blockchain. Okay, so there is no other or world's first, these are things. And we have our social media buttons again. Okay, so this is everywhere. It's like we can't uh, just have a plugin from our browser, but it's ingrained in every website. I went through a couple of startup websites and I discovered that there is this commonality. They always look like this. There's some big cap, large font, description which usually doesn't say anything and then and this is the interesting part there are these 
smooth, soft fade-ins. On every part of the website, you see these. So the data comes in smooth. You don't, it do, it's not there immediately. It just smoothly loads in. They spend a lot of time really making sure everything looks different. Sometimes from the left, the right, the top. Wow. It just loads in smooth. You never actually get the information at first sight. Okay, what do they need to, to, to make this happen? This is some wizardry. So there's like a whole batch of JavaScript libraries. Yeah, that's what it takes to look like any other website on the internet. I actually noticed that most of the startup websites are this theme or this theme. That sums up pretty much 90% of the startup web. So another thing the internet is great at, sharing news. And every news company has their own website. And I assume that those would need to be clean and readable because I mean, all they're sharing is the news. It's just text. They just want people to read the text. They don't need the whole visual experience like on the other websites. Our first target is uh, a news site called the Washington Post. Hello? Hello? Turn. I mean, no, I don't want to turn off. Okay. Chat now. Who can I chat with? Oh, okay, I cannot chat. I need to share pretty much everything about me. Second try. Okay, we need to confirm that we're a human. We don't have a lot of trust in the internet, I, I realize. Why can't we just automate these captures? I mean, why, why do we need to do them manually? Okay, I guess that's the point of the captures. Okay, now I'm getting a little bit bored. They're not gonna let us through. Oh, okay, just do a simple reload. Hello, where's, okay, maybe I accept. Okay, so this, so these news are behind a, I guess a paywall. You've reached your limit of free articles. I didn't read any articles, sad. So this marks our third attempt at finding free information on the internet. Oh, so the, oh, this one's nice. Let's choose something for bakeries. See, and that's just simple white on black text. It's almost like I do in Emacs in your browser. But I mean, we don't get the whole funk 1.2 seconds for gallery loader. Okay. So we just get free information. That's no ads or just free information. Okay, what are this uh, again? Wait a minute. What? I mean, aren't these ads? What? I mean, so this is how they, they keep the site going. But I mean, who clicks on these kind of things? The people who read these articles are not clicking on this, are they? Okay, and what about this one? Okay, we get our standard cookie banner where we have options. And we can reject all. No, we don't have legitimate interest. Thank you. This is this. Oh, I need to save an ad. So they're financing the website by having stupid people click on ads so that I can have free information. Where are all the good old minimalist websites going? Is there a search engine for them? So I figured out that we have this search engine which leads us to the good old minimalist websites. Yeah, but these are just old professors blogging about exotic plants. Okay, is there some website which is minimalist and contains valuable information apart from RMS website, of course. <laughs> Okay, so this website doesn't even use HTTPS. And this is a simple website. One image, a list of categories, and the latest article. And then if we click on the article, it's just text. It's unbelievable. Where are all the JavaScript load-ins and all the fancy animations, the trackers, cookie banners, comment sections? Well, they're all gone. And how does this website work? It's just text. Right there, you can read it in, in one go. This seems boring. Let's add some JavaScript. Now we're looking how the website of the bigger dog looks like the VC. Okay, we have another cookie banner. Hello, this is just purple. Is that their message? Is this some kind of, okay, let's reload the website. 
It's just purple. Yeah. Okay. Okay, we just went into a different galaxy. So this isn't really readable. Oh, and there are more animations. Every designer needs to show off their skill. And why are there just borders? Well, hello? Okay, private video, if you have permission. Do we have permission? We can't even clock in on the login button. Okay, let's look at their approach. Maybe we'll learn something. Okay, so it seems their approach is rather slow. I mean, they're raising over 80 billion. They could at least fix those gray frames. Okay, so we can scroll to discover. Okay, so these are new interactions. I, these designers have too much time, but they're still not telling us what they're doing exactly. Maybe they don't know themselves yet. But is there a website which lets me see valuable information that is shared by different people on a minimalist website? So I just discovered 4chan. So it turns out to make use of the web 2.0, all you need is a couple of extensions in your browser. I'm getting it, slowly. What is this? They're, they're blocking us, but we need to turn off? No, we just got this extension. Okay. Ah! So now I learned that I can actually use ChatGPT and just use the internet text-based. I give it a question, I get a text-based answer, and I can use the internet through Emacs again. We just went full cycle with the web. What? Preposterous. I wanted to learn how a prestigious organization does their web. So I went to uh, a charity website trying to figure out where the call to action button is. So this is, um, I read a very important concept. Oh, take action. Okay. So that you have a call to action that's in reach. Um, take action, defend, climate action now. They seem to have uh, mastered this concept. Wait, are we back on the main webs? Well, we did we did take the action. Why, why did we get back? All right, let, let's try one more time. I'm, I'm confused. So, okay, we tried this one. Maybe there's... Okay, okay, so, so these are the... Okay, take, no, we want to sign. We want to sign and take... Okay, there it is, take action. Oh, there, okay. We get points for doing the action. Sign now. Okay, so, oh, this is the form. Take action with Facebook, take action with Apple. But we want to take action against Apple. Okay, I'm not signing this. 